You didn't have to come with me, Father. I couldn't let you come for a thousand miles alone. You've never even met this man. I don't need to meet him. To know he's a prophet. God knows the situation of all his children. He has provided for their salvation. My calling is to bear witness that Jesus is the Christ. To him every soul is precious. That is why this work is so important. Never get discouraged, brethren. Joseph. The governor insists that we come to Carthage. If we go to Carthage, we will not come back alive. So what do we do? How can you be so certain this man is a prophet? I've read his teachings. And I've prayed to know the truth. We've three more days until we get there, Father. Read of him. For yourself. I don't blame anyone for not believing my history. If I had not experienced what I have, I might not believe it myself. No. I will not let you do it. Be reasonable, Mrs. Smith. What kind of life would he have? The bone and tissue are both infected. It happens sometimes after typhoid fever. Unless we remove the leg, the infection will keep spreading. There must be another way. Well, there is one possible procedure. It is an unproved and complicated surgery. And using pinchers break away the infected What's area. Gonna leaving as much of Don't be afraid, Joseph. God will take care of you. Lucy, he doesn't want you to have to watch. Bite on this, Joseph. seem but a small thing to me. We were taught to trust in God and always take care of each other. Whoa! 
first you walk, and then you run. for more. Coming, mother. Alvin was my oldest brother. He was a hero in my eyes. Two more, Joseph. So was my brother Hiram. You didn't answer my question. At an early age, I became concerned about the welfare of my soul. But the designs of God regarding his plan of salvation were little understood in that day. You seem to be a God-fearing man, but I don't see you with your family in my congregation. <laughs> well, it seems that preaching nowadays teaches folks to fear God too much. <clears throat> Trust in him too little. You're a difficult man, Mr. Smith. <laughs> I don't mean to be. Just concerned for your salvation. of you be saved. Now God determined long before this world was who would be saved and who would not. There is nothing to do but search your heart to see if God has chosen you. Alvin, have you ever wondered what we need to do to be saved? You worry too much, little brother. But I need to know. If you embrace false doctrine and unite yourself with a corrupt church, you can expect coldness and darkness all your life. During this time, my mind was called up to serious reflection and great uneasiness. I determined to investigate the subject more fully. Ask and you shall receive. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. <laughs> Therefore we must repent and be baptized. <laughs> realize that Alvin has not been baptized. Neither have you. Without it, you cannot be saved. I often ask myself, what is to be done? And how shall I know it? I was one day reading the epistle of James. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God. The words came with great force into my heart. I reflected upon them again and again. At length, I came to the conclusion that I must do as James directs. That is, ask of God. It was on the morning of a beautiful, clear day, early in the spring of 1820.
I kneeled down and began to offer up the desires of my heart to God. I was seized upon by some power, an actual being from the unseen world. Exerting all my strength to call upon God. I saw a pillar of light. I saw two personages. One of them spake unto me. Joseph, this is my beloved son. Hear him. I am Jesus Christ. I saw God, the Father, and His Son, Jesus Christ. They did, in reality, speak to me. I knew it. And I knew that God knew it. And I could not deny it. I was told in the vision to join none of the churches, but that the gospel in its fullness was about to be restored. I'm grateful for your help, Joseph. But you must know how I feel. There are no such things as visions and revelations in these days. All of that ceased with the apostles and there will never be any more of it. Don't speak of it further. It will only bring you grief. Business, Smith. Sorry about your brother. Hey, Joseph! You seen any visions lately? <laughs> Three years passed. night, as I was calling upon God, a heavenly messenger appeared. He said that his name was Moroni, that God had a work for me to do. Thank you.
He told me of an ancient record which contained a fullness of the gospel. In time, the record would be translated and then published as the Book of Mormon. Until then, I was to wait and prepare. Some sort of internal blockage. What do we do to treat it? I'm sorry. I've done everything I know how to do. God has given travail to the sons of men, for dust we are, and unto dust shall we return. Perhaps God is trying to warn you, Joseph. Alvin is lost, but there is still hope for you. Forget these foolish notions. gave me great cause to wonder. What is the purpose of coming into existence? To live, then die, and be no more? It seemed that God would surely reveal more on the subject. fish in the sea, Emma. You're not getting any younger. Mother, even if I were trying to catch a husband, I would never fish in shallow waters.
I've thought a great deal about what you told me. Yeah? I believe you. Emma's parents did not approve, but we were married the following year. We named our first son Alvin. He lived only a few hours. Together we have witnessed many sorrows. Death has taken four more of our children. The Lord calls us in our weakness, but he qualifies us for his work. At length, the time arrived to translate the record. All men must repent and be baptized in his name. How are we to be baptized? We inquired of the Lord. A messenger from heaven descended in a cloud of light. John the Baptist laid his hands upon our heads and conferred the authority to baptize. Peter, James, and John restored the keys of a new dispensation of the gospel of Jesus Christ. The record was translated by the gift and power of God. It was published as the Book of Mormon. It is a witness to all the world that Jesus is the Christ. Are you still determined to organize this church of yours? The Lord has commanded it, but it is not my church, it is His. It is the church of Jesus Christ. Mr. Smith, forgive the intrusion, but I wonder, could you tell me more about that book? Yes. Yes, I could. Brothers and sisters, I propose, if we are all in agreement, that we proceed and organize ourselves as a church according to the commandments of God. I do not believe in your religion, Mr. Smith. But I do thank you for your kindness. You might say that is our religion, ma'am. Well, I've never been thrown by anyone. So I'll just apologize now, Brother Joseph. Hold! 
Sometimes the Lord brings us low before he can lift us higher. Have you begun? When you climb a ladder, you must begin at the bottom and go step by step until you reach the top. So it is with the principles of salvation. These Mormons will soon be taking over the whole county. Can you imagine picking up and leaving everything behind on the word of a so-called prophet? I hear they worship Joseph Smith. Well, there's one way to find out. Joseph? Yes, Mother? My new friend here has a question. We only worship God the Father and His Son, Jesus Christ. And all this talk of revelation? That is how we learn His will. What makes you so certain, Mr. Smith, that God even cares? He does care. And you can know it. But first, you have to trust him. We talk of Christ. We rejoice in Christ. We preach and prophesy of Christ that our children may know to what source they may look for a remission of their sins. to swim in deep water. Better deep than shallow. <laughs> Pray unto the Father with all the energy of heart that ye may be filled with this love. God has restored to the earth the spirit of prophecy and of revelation. I am a witness that Jesus is the Christ. He invites all men to repent and to come unto him. He will bear our grief. He will carry our burdens. newcomers. He sacrificed a great deal to come here. He's lost his wife and he has three small children. 
they have nowhere to live. Lyman, know how to use a hammer? Brother Joseph, I don't know what to say. Just tell her how you feel. She'll listen. Oh, no, I... I meant to thank you. the floor again. They have no place else to sleep tonight. We're almost finished with our new house. Everything. Except the, the roof. And a couple of walls. <laughs> Emma. Hmm? The Lord has commanded us to build a temple here. Take you to put up two walls? <laughs> Keep up the good work, brethren. Mm. I know you've got a good heart, Lyman. Certainly hope you've got a good eye. I'm just an ordinary man. The Lord calls ordinary men. But how can he call someone like me to be an apostle? You have been prepared, Brigham. The Lord takes raw materials, shapes them, and refines them. The Lord has great things in mind for you, Brigham. Greater than you have ever dreamed of. Brigham Young, in the name of Jesus Christ, we lay our hands upon your head. be our finest work, brethren. Nothing but the best for the Lord. We're not just building a temple here. The Lord is building us. The Lord did build us in wonderful ways. He revealed every truth, every principle, every doctrine pertaining to life and salvation. God is the Father of our spirits. Jesus Christ is his son. Their work and their glory is to bring to pass the immortality and eternal life of man. Prophecy was fulfilled. The Lord did come to his temple. Behold, I have accepted his house. Other heavenly messengers appeared. Moses, Elias and Elijah. The Lord revealed that all who die without a knowledge of the gospel, who would have received it, shall be heirs of the kingdom of God. Shall be heirs of the kingdom of God. Mother would have believed that. When we are accomplishing the most good, the greatest opposition comes. Even Oliver has turned against him. As have many others. They let pride rob them of faith. the same thing happening to you? He asked too much of people. It's 
time we got rid of these Mormons for good. And if we need to kill Joe Smith to do it, all the better. <laughs> How can we leave this behind, Joseph? It's not safe to stay. Will things be better in Missouri? You told us to gather in Ohio. We gave up everything to go. You said build a temple. We had to leave it. What more do you want us to do? It's what the Lord wants that matters. We must trust him. And if faith's not enough, then what? Missouri proved the refiner's fire. Intolerance and misunderstanding increased. Rumor and slander flew. In the confusion, the governor issued an order to drive us from the state. General Lucas, I was told you wanted to talk with me. Here are your prisoners, General, as we agreed. We only came because we had your word of honor. <laughs> well, you, sir, were misinformed. <laughs> At 9 o'clock, General Donovan and his brigade will take these men to the town square in Far West. And he will shoot them! This is cold-blooded murder. These men are innocent. I will not obey your order. And if you execute them, I will hold you responsible before an earthly tribunal, so help me God. I knew they were going to betray him. You knew? And you didn't warn him? One of your revelations. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us, Joe, which Mormon house is going to burn tonight? <laughs> the Lord invites all men to repent and come unto Him. Hey, you ever actually kill a Mormon? <laughs> Two, maybe three. Of course, the young ones, they don't count for nothing. Yeah, but they make good for target practice. <laughs> These men have passed here, Joseph. No one here is going to listen. 
Hey, you know that blacksmith out there in far west? He claimed I owed him some money. <laughs> well, we paid a little visit. <laughs> we beat him half to death. <laughs> Should have seen the look on his face when he saw that place go up in smoke. <laughs> because his kids were inside the house. <laughs> they were screaming like this. <laughs> his missus. Now she put up a fight. <laughs> Silence! Silence! Silence, ye fiends of the infernal pit! In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke you and command you to be still. I will not live another minute and hear such language. Cease such talk, or you or I die this instant. The worth of every soul is great in the eyes of God. Oh, I see them again. Called revelations to yourself. up here. Don't you try nothing. So good to see you. Mary? Shall thy hand be stayed, and thine eye behold the wrongs of thy people? There are no such things as visions and revelations.
Oh God, we're locked down. My son, peace be unto thy soul. Thine adversity and thine afflictions shall be but a small moment. And then if thou endure it well, God shall exalt thee on high. How do we endure well? We trust in God, Lyman. And we go on. At length, we regained our freedom and found refuge in Illinois. We had suffered, but not in vain. Our hearts had been made more tender. Don't lose heart, brethren. Nauvoo in Hebrew means beautiful place. What's the Hebrew word for swamp? <laughs> that first summer, hundreds were sick with chills and fever. Many among us died. Let me help you, sisters. The Lord has brought us here. We must not lose faith. Aren't there enough graves in Missouri? Do you believe that Jesus is the Christ? by the authority of his holy priesthood. And in the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to be healed. Pride has brought me very low. Now the Lord can lift you higher. Ah, you play the pipes. Brother Joseph. Please don't encourage him. <laughs> the building up of Zion is a cause destined to change the world 
and bring about the salvation of all the human family. Brethren, a man filled with the love of God cannot be content in blessing his family alone. He will be anxious to bless the whole human race. This is what the Lord desires for you. In ancient days, God spoke to prophets who in turn shared God's word with all those who were willing to listen. God has again, God has again spoken to his prophets who have given us his word. The book of Amos teaches us that this is part of God's plan. We must declare this gospel to every nation, kindred, tongue, and people. Good morning, brother. If ye ask with a sincere heart, having real intent and faith in Christ, he will manifest the truth of it unto you by the power... There are many in this world who are kept from the truth only because they know not where to find it. ...the truth of all things. The Lord has revealed an additional testimony of the divinity of Jesus Christ. The truth of God will go forth boldly, nobly, and independent until it has sounded in every ear and the purposes of God shall be accomplished. God desires to bless all of his children. He walks almost 900 miles to get here. God bless you, Jane Manning. Oh, he already has. He already has. Brother Joseph? Jesse. A word? Certainly. I, I was thinking... Yes? People notice everything you do. And I wonder if uh, a man of your position should engage in such... Menial chores. Well, if there are demeaning things to be done in the man's house, who better than the head of the house to do them? Well, my wife does most such work at our house. Maybe, maybe she could speak to Sister Emma. How long have you been married? Three years next month. That long? May I offer you some advice? Hey. The Lord intends for marriage to last much longer than that. In fact, forever. Now, if a man is not willing to help and cherish his wife here, why would she want him hereafter? Now you give that some thought. Therein lies happiness, brother. Start, start counting again. One, two, three, two. Happiness is what God intends for us. Every blessing we receive comes through obedience. Thank you. They are beautiful. Perfect for going fishing. a very wise man. Why? Why couldn't you heal our son, Joseph? I can only do God's will. Do you ever wonder if he asks too much? I do not let myself. Sometimes I do. Does 
God intend to take away everything that I love? Just a little weary, that's all. You have watched after us all of our lives, Father. That's what fathers do. Let us watch after you. Joseph. Well, I see all of them again. Yes. You will see Elvin again and be with him. You will always be his father. And he will always be your son. The Lord has revealed that that is his plan. We can be together with the ones we love forever. We will all see Elvin again. There are many souls whom I have loved. To them I am determined to prove faithful. We would not be surprised to hear of the death of Joseph Smith by violent means. This isn't news, it's a threat. It's as magnificent as they say it will be. The Lord has great blessings in store for all of us. In this temple, God will reveal the crowning ordinances of salvation. You will have your children again. All our losses will be made up if we are faithful. Father, all our losses will be made up if we are faithful. I wish I could believe that. You can. I've never been asleep, but Anthony was. Took him 12 years of scrimping and saving so he could buy his freedom. Now he's trying to buy his son's freedom. He didn't know he was breaking the law. Brother Joseph, please. The sheriff will listen to you. The laws are what protect us. If we want to be truly free, we have to be willing to obey all of them. You understand, Anthony. You must pay the fine. I paid the fine, like you told me. It was the right thing to do. Anthony, this horse has been one of Emma's favorites. And now is yours. Sell the horse and use the money to buy your son's freedom. God bless you, my friend. Now, Jane, you and I have a problem. What is that? Which one of us will tell Emma? <laughs> Not me. I had sealed upon my head every key, 
every power, and every principle of life and salvation. And now I seal them upon you. Hiram, you know what will happen if we go to Carthage. Whatever happens, Joseph, the Lord is in it. What's going to happen, Joseph? We will do the best that we can. Then go on. Brother Joseph? Not today. He's leaving for Carthage. Stand trial. Oh. Sir! You... Too late, Father. We don't have to meet him to know he's a prophet. here in the gospel that we have received. Truth out of the earth. Mercy from heaven. 
a voice of gladness for the living and the dead. Shall we not go on in so great a cause? No! <laughs> 